In this video, I'm going to teach you how to animate in a spiral movement. But before we begin, I would like to mention that this video is part of our Skillshare class where I will teach you how to animate a liquid blob effect frame by frame. If you're interested in taking this class, check out the link in the description below and get a 14-day free trial of Skillshare. Now, let's continue with the video. First, we would create our flow. So, for our flow, so I'm gonna just zoom this out so we could uh, see the whole canvas. For our flow, uh, try to do a spiral and it's just going to contain one loop. So it's gonna be like this. Just one loop and it's going to break around here. Uh, I want this one to fill the, the whole screen so I'm gonna click V, uh, the selection tool, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna press Q so that the bounding box would appear. And I'm gonna hold shift and scale this up. And maybe bring this at the center. Okay, so this would be our guide. So I'm gonna click the uh, lock icon and this outline tool so that uh, it's gonna be something like that. And uh, maybe I'm just gonna uh, go to this one second right here and click F5 so that it's already exposed uh, uh, for the duration of one second. So this would be our guide. So I'm just gonna double click this, okay? And then our, I'm just gonna re rename this as my path guide. Now I'm gonna create a new layer and uh, I think I would want to bring this down. And this one would be our animation. So uh, let me just uh, deselect the outline mode here. And let's analyze a bit the path. And let us decide when we are going to accelerate and when we are going to decelerate. It's most logical to, to accelerate at the start, right? Uh, so here, we're going to, to accelerate. We're gonna use the, uh, the car analogy again, right? Uh, if there is a steep curve, naturally, as a driver, you're gonna slow down, right? Because if you're gonna speed up, accidents would, would happen. So whenever there's a steep curve, we're going to decelerate. Okay, so here we're gonna accelerate, and maybe probably here we're gonna um, just maintain the speed. And once we reach the steep curve right here, we're going to decelerate and slow down. And since here it's like almost a straight line, so we're gonna, going to again start to build up speed. We're gonna accelerate here, and then this is our final uh, destination. So once we hit this part, we're, we are going to decelerate. So let's do that, okay? Um, first gonna click the, the outline mode. So uh, so the effect of the outline mode is uh, this. It's going to ha have that effect. So that we could focus on the our circle animation. So we're gonna start with the circle uh, right here. So that would be our first, our first frame. So I'm gonna skip a frame because we are animating on twos and I'm on frame three, click F7. So since this is our starting uh, starting position, you decide uh, the space, right? So for me, I'm just going to decide uh, some, j just make sure that your first frame isn't abrupt like this, right? It's, uh, the space is too big, right? Uh, it's not natural uh, to do it like that. So I think uh, it's going to be somewhere, uh, somewhere around here. So this would be our, the basis of uh, how we are going to accelerate and decelerate. So, okay, move again forward in time here and click F7. Now I'm gonna accelerate, I'm gonna double the distance. It's going to be somewhere here. And again, make sure that your circle is the same volume, right? It's not getting smaller. But just in case it does get smaller, it's okay. Uh, consider this as some sort of just practice. So we're gonna move again forward in time and click F7. Uh, since we are too far from our stop stopping point, right, or our uh, slowing, this is where we slow down. So we could still accelerate. So uh, I'm going to accelerate. So I'm going to double this distance. So it would be around somewhere here. Or I think that's a bit too much. So uh, I think somewhere here. So don't worry too much if your circle isn't a perfect circle. Okay, what we're trying to uh, practice here is also is the, the accelerating and decelerating concept. So we're gonna move forward in time, click F7. And uh, I think we're still 
far from our uh, slowing down phase. This is where we slow down, right? So if we are going to accelerate, I'm going to double this. It's going to be somewhere here. Or I think we could just maintain the speed, right? B because uh, I think this is, if we're going to double this, right? If we're going to accelerate further, um, the circle won't, won't have enough time to slow down. So I think we could just maintain the speed. So we're just going to copy the this distance. So it's going to be somewhere here. Uh, let me zoom that in. And then, since there's already a steep curve, what we can do is we can, we can start to slow down. So we're, we're going to divide this into two. So the distance would be around here. And then decelerate again, going to divide the distance again by two. So I think around somewhere here. Just make sure that we're not going to make it into a full stop. We're just slowing down, okay? Because uh, we want to stop right here. So for here, we're not really going to uh, be at a full stop. We're just slowing down. So uh, here, I'm going to click F7. We're going to decelerate further. So it's going to be somewhere here. And now, uh, here, I'm not anymore going to decelerate. Because if I'm going to decelerate, it's almost like it, this ball is going to a full stop. I'm going to start uh, accelerating. So here, I'm already going to... Uh, double this so double the distance it would be so this is the distance so double that this is one then two so it would be somewhere around there around here so we're going to accelerate now we're going to accelerate uh, we're going to accelerate so we're going to double that so around I think somewhere here and from here, I think we can't anymore uh, accelerate because if we accelerate, we're going to go uh, beyond our stopping point. And if we're going to maintain speed, uh, it's going to be around here. We have a little distance to, uh, if this is a car, uh, to brake and have a, at a full stop right here. So what we're going to do is uh, starting from here, we're now going to decelerate. We're going to divide this into two. So it's going to be somewhere here. And uh, we lack a bit of frames. So for our path guide, let's go to our path guide and click F5. F5 multiple times. I think let's just, to be sure, let's make it to two seconds. So now for, for here, uh, we could sk uh, skip frame and then click F7. And now we're going to decelerate. Again, now we are going to continually decelerate until we come to a full stop. So we're going to divide that into two. So it would be around here. And then move here. I'll click F7. Again, we're going to decelerate. Divide the distance again by two. And here we're going to decelerate. So we're going to divide this again into two. I think uh, somewhere here and uh, here I'm going to decelerate even further. So if we if we are going to be off the, the target uh, stop point just by a little bit, then uh, I think that's okay. So I'm going to move forward in time, click F7, now decelerate this a bit further. So I really want to show that slowing down. So I think we could have one more frame right here. And that would be our full stop. Now, if you look at the timeline, see we have uh, a black frame here. I, I mean, there, there's really like nothing. So uh, what we could do is we could uh, click F5 or we could jump to this frame and then click F5. So it's going to have the same effect. Now let's take a look at what we have done.